Hello everyone, welcome to version 7 of X4 Foundations. I've heard good things about this particular version and so I wanted to give the game another try. I had previously played the original X game, X Beyond the Frontier, uh, many versions of X2 and X3 as well, and spent a lot of time on X3 in particular. Uh, but I hadn't gotten to X4 partly because I started a YouTube channel where I play other games and uh, frankly my viewers didn't seem as interested in X4 as in other games. We'll see if maybe this version changes things a bit, but it is a different sort of feel compared to say Kerbal Space Program, which I normally do, and uh, in that it is obviously uh, futuristic sci-fi, and I like sci-fi, uh, and you know, really far out stuff and jump gates and stuff like that, but you know, it's not to everybody's taste. We'll see whether maybe uh, the way things go here entices more people to be interested in the game. Uh, I'm going to start with the tutorials because they've apparently added a lot of really good tutorials and I need them. I've forgotten everything. Uh, it's been too long, so... Walking and interaction, probably Time I know, but you know what? Want to fly wherever you want, whenever you want, then what you need is a pilot's license. Okay, and okay, okay, let's let just start that. I'm just gonna go through all of them. I'm just gonna go through all of them, and then nobody can blame me for not doing the tutorials. I'm going to try and create a space empire, but we'll see. Okay, so the message ticker in the bottom left corner of the screen. If you have an active mission, like now, your current objective will be shown in orange text, okay? Before we begin, I need to perform a few routine physical tests. Regulations, you know. Please move your head as far up or down as you can. Okay, I'm stuck in position. Oh, the outfits don't look too bad. The X Games, uh, you know, they have a huge universe to deal with and a lot of things... Okay, uh, to calculate, so... Uh, the graphic expectations here are not on the same level as, say, Starfield or anything. Uh, want to invert vertical axis controls? I don't think so. Now please walk a few steps. Faster, please. Okay, okay twice to run. A few jumping jacks, please. Okay, spacebar. Finally, a few squats, please. Holding C, release it. Right. Okay. You seem to be in good physical shape, so we can move on to your flying lessons. Let me know how you want to proceed. Okay. Uh, so interact. Yes. Um, continue with basic flight. So I guess we can continue we'll the tutorials through the here, maybe. A room outside to go to the docking bay. Okay. So we've got yellow lines to tell us where to go. That's always nice. Oh, I keep trying to press E to interact with things. I guess the yellow thing is the way to go. From here, you need Exit! To no! <laughs> I'm going the wrong way! Really, uh, very clear. Hmm. Nice and shiny. Actually, it is pretty good. Okay, uh, we don't have to press anything to interact with the ladder. Lazar, Vanguard. I'm taking command. For undocking. Proceed. It's practically Star Citizen. Okay, shift D to undock. I should have the my joystick control though for this though. Oh no, the axes are on strafe instead of rotation. Okay, well I have everything mapped, I just don't know which ones need to be inverted. So what I have picked is on my main joystick, the Z rotation is the left right because I'm used to flying planes, so that'll be yaw. And then roll is the X axis and up down is the Y axis and my throttle uh, I'm going to unbind from there because uh, the throttle quadrant is going to do the throttle. Probably that'll need to be inverted. Uh, strafing up and down is my little um, hat a hat switch, and left right is also on the hat switch. Boost. Um, let's see. I'll leave that be, uh, though I don't actually remember which one nine is. Um, uh, maybe I should bind it to something in particular. Well, you're nine anyway. Okay, good. 
Um, so firing weapons I've got, uh, changing the weapons groups in theory I've got, and we've got the travel mode and scan mode, long range scan and setup mode all on the joystick potentially, and targeting objects in the map. And container magnet, container magnet, and deploy satellite. And then on the throttle quadrant, which also has switches, of course the throttle. And then interaction menu. And targeting things. And next target, previous target, docking. And that's it. Okay, that steering works. That needs to be inverted. Um, was that the vertical? Yes. Roll. Uh, no. Remain how now, it is. Use the strafing controls to move sideways or vertically. Okay, strafing, 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 strafing. Okay. Before we continue, make sure there's no obstacle. Oh, right that needs to be I can't check from here, so I have to trust you on this one. When you clear, gently accelerate forwards. Okay, but there's I need to invert that. Speed limit inside docking areas, but you don't have to worry about exceeding it. The I'm wondering if it's got prompt me the speed for you for the inversion or not. You can also fly backwards. Try this now. Now, I need you to make sure there really is nothing in front of you. When you're ready, straight. Okay, but first let's invert that. I think inversion is actually in a separate section, which is inconvenient. Um, invert axes. This one needs to be inverted. And hit your ship's boost. Okay, which one was boost? That's boost. Boosting drains your shield, so use it wisely. Or your not at all. So let's practice what you've learned so far. I've prepared a little course for you. Please fly close to each of the navigation beacons in turn. Your next target will always be marked in orange. Okay. Oh, that one's... Oh, it's over Don't there. Don't worry, you're not being timed. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh. Uh, okay, I might. I can't really see where I'm gonna bump into that. I need headlights. I didn't see headlights being a binding. So. Oh, so turning my head. I wonder if track IR works with this. Probably not. Or maybe. Okay, next tutorial docking. Go ahead. Fly to the Mark station. I wonder why it says left trigger to set speed. Now that you're in range, interact with the station to request docking permission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I was pressing five. Boo. Okay, that's not working. Follow the trail well, of lights. The docking dock. assignment worked, but the one that was supposed to bring up the interaction menu didn't work. Yeah, interaction menu was supposed to be five. That didn't work. But on the same thing, docking was six, and that did work. Okay. Fine. We'll deal with that later. I didn't see landing gear. Turn your ship in the indicated direction. You should now be able to see an abstract representation of the docking bay and your position relative to it. Each element must be aligned before you can dock. Oh. When aligned, the elements change oh. color from red to green. I usually align my orientation first. Begin by moving the center of your crosshair oh, to the matching go. element in the docking UI. 
cabin. Your shoulders fully aligned and let go of the steering controls. There's a triangular element pointing upwards that represents your ship's position over the dock. I think. If it's darkened, then your ship is outside the displayable area. If you can afford them, there are software upgrades that make this process a bit easier. It's fine. Okay, travel mode. This next thing is something you are going to be using a lot. I've marked a remote location for you to fly to. Don't worry, I don't expect you to crawl there at your base speed. First, please align your ship so it points roughly towards the target. Now, activate travel mode. Depending on your engine type, Not it may take a little maybe. time to get started. I've got Look my joystick button. Bar just below the crosshairs. You will keep accelerating for a while until you reach your ship's top travel speed. You've probably noticed other modes in the list when you activated this one. Each mode has its special use, and only one mode can be active at a time. Well, the tutorials are pretty now good so far. Now some speed, you'll notice that steering has become much harder. This is why it's best to point your ship towards your destination groaning. before engaging travel mode. Now, turn off the mode the same way you turned it on. You are now coasting, which means a few things. First, your ship is decelerating much more slowly than it normally would. Second, steering is easy again. Give it a try now. Third, you've probably noticed that your ship keeps flying in the same direction. <laughs> you can come to a stop Inertia. much more quickly by actively decelerating. This automatically re-engages the safety limits on steering. Try it now. They decelerate. No, no, I, I'm decelerating. Okay, how, how much do you want me to decelerate here? Okay, maybe I should come out of... Or maybe not. As for the travel direction, oh well, whatever. any strafe movement will revert that to the behavior you're used to. You can also drop out of travel mode more quickly, skipping the coasting phase. That's cheating. Let's try this now. Please reactivate travel mode. Oh no, it, it, that, it wanted it active, okay. Now wait until you've built up some speed. Whenever you're ready, quickly drop out of travel mode. Okay, yeah, well that's that's cheating. Great. <laughs> the next part will take place some Because I'd be squished so to a pulp a at that Let deceleration. The autopilot do the hard work for now. Autopilot. The autopilot automatically navigates to the current objective. It engages travel mode when appropriate and makes use of gates, accelerators, and highways. It even avoids obstacles in the way. Uh, well, mostly, which is why you still need to be at the controls. Also cheating. You may notice <laughs> I'm joking that it about sometimes cheating. Okay. turns travel mode off when everything seems wide open to you. The I like to joke about cheating trigger, in single player keep games. Insurance rates from skyrocketing. Okay, highways and gates. Today, we'll learn how to use the various means of traveling between systems and sectors. Before we start, please note the yellow icon below your crosshair. The manuals call it the check engine light. Check engine light? I've seen an engine that looks like that. <laughs> it means that you can't make use of your travel mode right now. Aww. That's because this lesson takes place in a region that prevents it from working. That's fancy, Being actually. Being hit by a weapon disables your travel drive for a short time as well. So don't rely on it to get out of trouble. I've also heard of weapons that target this system specifically to make you an easy target for pirates. On to the actual lesson at hand. Or conversely, we can do it to other people. A jump gate. Sometimes you'll find one that's inactive. This one's working though, which you can tell from the swirly bits in the middle. I approve of the swirly the bits in the middle. Simply fly through. That's all there is to it. Now, I've been told that the technology is totally different, but in practice, these accelerators function pretty much exactly like jump gates. Fly through this one. 
No, oh, that's secondary weapon. I thought that was boost. That's boost. While jump gates connect different star systems, accelerators take you to different places within the same one. Up next, a super highway. They also take you to sectors. All sorts of ways system. of getting around. The main difference is that they are directional, so you need to use the entry gate, not the exit. Fly into the entry gate. As you see, it's a tiny bit slower than the other methods. And I has like red lights. Let's me enjoy the view. Highways can also be local. The entry of one is right in front of you. Fly into it. There's highways too. It has a much lower speed than the super highway we just came out of, but it's still a whole lot faster than most ships can travel on their own. 22 not for kilometers ships, per second though. and decelerating now. Medium-sized ships are the largest that can use them. Local highways can be entered and exited at any point along the way. Fly into the one right in front of you. Coming up with an explanation for exactly how these work would be interesting. This highway is special in that it leads you right into a jump gate. You don't have to do anything. The transition will just work on its own. Wow. There we go. And then Please much, oh, briefly much faster, 70 kilometers per second. Heart. It's counting down to when you should exit the highway. Wait until it's done, then exit the highway. How do I exit the highway? Now. Okay, I guess just well turn. Alright, combat. Now we're talking. Time to learn how to defend yourself. There are a handful of targets in front of you. Their hug color indicates whoa, that they whoa, are whoa. enemies. Okay, some I don't want one on my six, but now I've got three of my six. Those are behind something and can't be hit with your weapons right now. I've now activated your primary weapon. The small dots that have just appeared indicate where the weapons are currently aiming. They will automatically track your There's current a lot of inertia. as long as it's close enough. Note that the hunt markers of some targets are smaller. These targets are currently outside your weapon range. Select it's not going with my reverse thrust target. anymore. Okay. One. A one. new HUD element has appeared right in the center of the target. This is the aim I can't shoot indicator. yet. It shows you where you need to aim, which is especially useful if the target is moving. Slowly cycle through all the targets. I can't slow down right now. It only slows down when I turn. Cargo drone. When a target outside your weapon range has been selected, you can see the weapon indicators becoming darkened. The aim ahead indicator also changes its appearance. Select the closest enemy target again and shoot at it until it's destroyed. Okay, my gun doesn't shoot very quickly. And I can't go slower now? Well, maybe I should leave some room. Because for some reason, my throttle isn't ha doing anything right now. I want to make things hard on me. Okay. Destroying the targets. You'll need to move closer in order to hit some of them. Okay, if now my throttle works. Right here, you will see bars next to your weapons that gradually fill up when you are firing. Oh, there, that one's this is heavy. heat. It automatically dissipates when you stop firing. This happens more slowly if there are multiple weapons going down at the same time. Too far. This target is much sturdier than the others. Look at the blue bar above the target. 
This is its shield strength. After a few seconds without damage, it will begin to recharge. All shields work like this, including your own. I'm not impressed. Your weapon's just overheated. You will not be able to fire until they've cooled to a safe temperature. I've now activated your secondary weapon, a missile launcher. It's loaded with a type of guided missile that requires a target lock. Please select the target in front of you. You can now see okay. a lock being acquired. Missile. You may fire when ready. Okay, got it. The target has dropped oh. something. Fly right at it to pick it up. I don't know what range the attraction... Okay, it looks like it's attracting now. Okay. It's another type of missile. It has been Picking stuff up is that easy. To your ammunition storage. Missile launchers have limited ammunition. You can see the number of remaining missiles to the left of your crosshair. Look at the curved blue bar below Nine. your crosshairs. I'm going to demonstrate damage to your shields. No, don't damage my shields. Wait for it. Okay, yeah. Okay, at least they're not totally damaged. It's That's a plume. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know about that plume right there. The Alliance of the Lord seeks inquiring minds. Interested scientists should convene at our expedition staging grounds in Heretics End. Okay. We intend to eliminate the mysteries of junkie technology. All are welcome. Science knows no boundaries of race or faction. Okay, well, tutorial guy isn't telling me anything. Autopilot. I just saw the pilot through this. So I didn't mention it earlier, but version 7.0 is just an automatic update to the base game. There are DLCs for the game. I have all the DLCs except for timelines. Um, but you don't need any of the DLCs to get the update or anything like that. Uh, the DLCs generally, except for timelines, add new sectors and new stuff. So, generally worth it, I think. Timelines, I'm not entirely clear on what, what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, well, we've got a rock in front of us. There's autopilot. Oh, autopilot's avoiding it. Interesting. Maybe a little bit... I mean, it could have stayed in travel mode and nudged away, but it took itself out of travel mode in order to navigate these. So, yeah. If... If I wanted to go fast, I would probably, especially in a sector with asteroids, just manually fly around. It's... Ah! That wasn't a good turn at all. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, autopilot, um, hmm. Still not entirely trustworthy, though impressive in its way. Entering Grand Exchange 1. Okay. So, build dock area. Hmm. Well, this is not the... Headquarters. Oh, isn't this just continuing my previous save? Build dock area. I think this is just continuing my previous save. That's why I'm lost, because I, I didn't really... I needed more stuff in order to build the docking area. But I need the tutorials again. So hold on. Okay, intermediate tutorials. This is... Um, I need the station thing. Station building. Advanced tutorials. Oh, well, I said I would go in order. Let me just continue. Um, actually, at this point, I think I'm going to wait until the next video. So, that's one video. That's the basic tutorials. And now, there will be a video on the intermediate tutorials. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.